Hello everyone and hello there YouTube. This is Mia, your daily broadcaster, signing back in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video, we'll talk about some of the or the price analysis for some of the top 10 cryptocurrencies for today. But before we go there, I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program here. Now guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Now, signing up to Initiative Q is completely free as they only ask for your name and an email address. There's nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now, here is your special limited invite link in the description there below. Now guys, click it now and don't get left behind on this one. The link shown will stop working once we're out of free invite. So again, guys, join us now with this new Initiative Q program. Alright, so moving forward, let's go to the article or for the price analysis. So here. Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, IOTA. Price analysis for November 19. Here. After a period of three days, the crypto markets have resumed their downtrend. Total market capitalization of the crypto university has dipped below $170 billion, which is a new yearly low. Following the increase in volatility and the renewed downtrend, some analysts have projected abysmally low prices for Bitcoin. With the sentiment is negative, such forecasts can scare new investors away and also force the weaker hands to dump their holdings. In its short trading history, is this the first time that Bitcoin has fallen about 70 of 4% from its peak? No, according to Charlie Biello, Director of Research at Pension Partners, the digital currency has twice plunged by 94% from its highs and again rising from the ashes. The third worst fall was 85% from its then highs. This shows that the asset class has experienced massive falls before. It is just that this time, Bitcoin is more in the limelight than on previous occasions. During bear markets and periods of panic, the fundamentals take a backseat and the markets are driven only by sentiment. Though such periods often an opportunity to load up for the long term, it is better to wait for the decline to end before buying because prices can go abysmally low during panic selling. What are the lower levels that can attract buyers? Let's find out here. Now for Bitcoin to USD. Here, After a three-day break, the bears are back with a vengeance. Bitcoin has plummeted below the support of $5,450 or $5,450 with ease. Failure of the bulls to pull back to the $5,900 level shows selling pressure on very small rise. The 20-day EMA and the 50-day SMA have turned down and the RSI is deep or deep in the oversold territory. This shows that the sellers continue to pound the Bitcoin cash to USD pair without even waiting for a pullback. If the bulls fail to provide support at the important physiological level of $5,000, the fall can extend to $4,700 and below that to $4,100. However, the reading of that 
of about 15 on the RSI shows that the selling has been overdone and a pullback can happen anytime. The strength of the pullback will provide an insight on whether the decline has ended or if there is more to go. When the price is correcting, it is difficult to predict where it will stop. Hence, we shall watch each support level closely. We will wait for the decline to end and a new buy setup to form before attempting to buy again. Until then, it is best to remain on the sidelines and avoid catching a falling knife. Next we have is XRP to USD or Ripple to USD. Ripple continues to be one of the stronger cryptocurrencies as it is here trading well above its recent lows. The moving averages are flat and the RSI is close to the midpoint. This points to a range bound action between $0.40 to $0.565. A breakdown of the uptrend line and $0.40 will be negative and can result in a fall to $0.37185 and below that to $0.26913. If the bulls break out of $0.565, the Ripple to USD pair can move up to $0.625 and above that to $0.76440. Trading should keep an eye on this as it has been holding out well in the recent fall. Ethereum to USD Ethereum is taking it onto the chin. Seeing a new yearly low by breaking below the intraday low of $167.32 made on September 12. If the price closes below $167.32, it will resume the downtrend that can drag the Ethereum to USD pair to the next support of $136 and $110. The declining 20-day EMA and the RSI in the oversold territory show that the path of least resistance is to the downside. However, if the bulls support the digital currency at the lower levels and push prices back above $167.32, it can rise to the 20-day EMA. We shall wait for a trend reversal to be signaled before proposing a trend. Next, we have here. Stellar to USD Stellar has broken down on the ascending channel. If the price is below the support line, the drop can extend to $0.21494424 and below that to $0.20400799. Failure of the bulls to capitalize on the breakout of the descending triangle pattern is a bearish sign. The stellar to USD pair will resume its downtrend if the bears sink in below the critical support at $0.184. The flat moving averages and the RSI just above the 41 levels point to a possible range formation. While the upper end of the range is at $0.30, the bottom of the range is yet to be established. A breakout above $0.0 or $305 is likely to signal a trend reversal. EOS to USD After struggling to stay above $4.493, EOS plunged below the support and also broke below the next level of $4.1778. The final support is at $3.8723 below which the digital currency will form a new year-to-date low. The 20-day EMA is sloping down and the RSI is in the oversold territory, which shows that the balance is tilted in favor of sellers. Below $3.8723, the next support is at $3. The EUSD-USD pair will show its first sign of strength if it breaks out of the moving averages and the downtrend line. We suggest traders wait for the decline to end and a new buy setup to form before initiating a new long positions. 
Next, we have Litecoin to USD. Litecoin seems to be falling into a bottomless pit as it continues to make new lows. With today's fall, it has broken down of the support at $40. Both the moving averages are trending down and the RSI is in the oversold territory, which shows that the bears are in command. Its next support is at $32. We anticipate an attempt to bounce off the support at $30 to $32. With the recent fall, the technicals of the light coin to USC pair have been damaged. It will have to enter into a period of consolidation before a new uptrend can start. Next we have is Cardano to USD. After holding 0 0.061 or 06, sorry, point, uh, $0 0.06105 for the past 5 days, Cardano broke down of the support making new lows. Its next support is $0.043722. The RSI has entered deep into the oversold territory which has previously resulted in a pullback. However, the Cardano to USD pair will continue to face selling on every recovery. Traders should wait for the decline to end and buyers to return before attempting to buy it. Next we have is Monero to USD. The bounce from $81 level on November 15 was short-lived as it did not find follow-up buying. Today, Monero nose dived below the support at $81. If the bears succeed in closing the price below the support, it will be the lowest in more than a year. The breakdown can result in a fall to the next support at $61.50. We anticipate a strong support close to the $60 to $61.5 level. However, with both moving averages sloping down and the RSIs in oversold territory, every pullback will be met with strong selling. The Monero to USD pair will have to spend a long time in forming a bottom before a trend reversal is signaled. Here, Tron to USD. Tron has broken down of the range it had been trading in since August 8 which is negative sign. It has resumed its downtrend that can push prices to the next support at $0.0084479 if the support at $0.0158768 breaks down. The RSI is deep in the oversold territory, which can result in a pullback. But with the 20-day EMA sloping down, the Tron to USD pair will face stiff resistance at $0.0183, and above that, the moving averages. Our bearish view will be negated if the bulls quickly reverse prices within the next couple of days and sustain above $0.0183. And the last that we have here is IOTA to USD. IOTA is currently trading inside a descending channel. It has again dropped to close to $0.3501 from which it had bounced on November 14. If the bulls succeed in achieving a bounce again, the IOTA to USD pair might rise above $0.4037. On the other hand, if the bears sink prices below the $0.3501 level, the slide can extend to the next support at $0.32 and below that to $0.23. Alright guys, so that was it for the price analysis of the top 10 cryptocurrencies for November 19. Now guys, what can you say about the article? Share with us your opinions in our comment section below. And also guys, we would like to invite you all to subscribe to our newsletter which will be sent directly to your email a day ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here. 
now once you are in the website all you have to do is go down and click on the link paypal where you can pay 15 us dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. Now, all of the information provided is for your news review and education only and not to be considered as financial advices. Because here, we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily YouTube broadcaster, signing off and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!